for a second. Oh, sorry, can you hear me now? Yes, now I can hear you. Where are you exactly? Close enough I should be putting the pasta on. <laughs> yes, I'm that close. I'm just about to turn on the main street. Excellent. Now, you know, uh, dinner isn't going to be fancy, but I bought a bunch of made sauce last week, and I want to show it off. You know how much I love your sauce, but I hope you didn't make too much food. I'm not that hungry. I made exactly the right amount of food. I didn't have a centerpiece until now. <laughs> well, it all looks delicious. Hey, sit for a minute. Can you start the day right? Get some caffeine. Oh, not for me, thanks, but I'd love to sit in Now, you haven't had any communication with Tracy since before the accident. Are you sure you're okay soon today? I'm not sure if I am ready, but I know that I need to see her. Tracy's been your best friend since first grade. Of course you need to see her. We used to talk every day. More than once a day. It's been three months. I still don't know what to say. Well, oh, Emma, you, you two shared the same brain since you ate paste together. <laughs> You'll find a way to work through this together, too. If only life were as simple as paper mache. Mm. Oh, I miss those days. <laughs> I bet Tracy misses them more. She loved me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you started that, uh, that babysitting business together? Mm-hmm. Do you still have those matching charm bracelets? Yeah. I just need to walk through that hospital door and say something. Our life is never going to get better. Well, the sooner you start, the better you'll feel. Thanks, man. All the way up. All the way, all the way. Perfect. Okay. You're doing great, Tracy. Thanks. Do you want to try a different exercise? Um, yeah, I just need a minute. are the rules. I just need to see her. Contact Tracy's family. They may or may not approve your request. She only has a brother, and uh, I don't know how to reach him. Excuse me. I came here to see Tracy. I'm not leaving until I do. Only the family can give permission. And until then, we need to go home. It's already been too long. I can't. Will. Hey. I came to see Tracy. Will. I just... No, I need to see... Oh, you need what? Tracy needed you to not get her almost killed in a car accident. She was in the ICU for 13 days. She's had three surgeries so far. We weren't even sure she's going to walk again anymore. He ran back to the city as fast as he could. Just go home. No.
know if you'd be able to. I just said no. Your shoes? They're nice. Got them online shopping. Do they fit okay? You know, sometimes when you buy stuff online, it just doesn't work. And... I should have been here for you, Tracy. I'm so sorry. I missed you so much, Mom. I missed you too. Really, Emma? Have you seen my biceps? I could beat Earl Ivy at this year's arm wrestling competition at the fall festival. I'm pretty sure that even I could beat Earl Ivy. Is your doctor gonna let you go? She knows it's one of my goals. Lyle doesn't think I'll be able to, but whatever. He's my brother and I love him, but he's very smothery. I think he's just looking after you the best way he knows how. I don't really care about You always have. You like her. She likes you. You said things that might have hurt her. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Make a plan. Hey, hey, hey. I'm all out of plan. Hey. Oh. Yeah, by smothering. Wait, has he moved back here from San Francisco? Yeah, he dropped everything just to take care of me. I should really be nicer to him. I guess I really should have been here for both of you. I'm glad Will was. I'm sorry he's being so awful to you. I get it. You know, he blames me for the accident. I don't blame him. Everyone knows that truck came out of nowhere. There's nothing you could have done. Hey, I see you came bearing gifts. You are pushy, you know that? Okay, you can open this. Awesome. Get my bracelet from the drawer. You're beautiful. Does this say 20? We passed that birthday a long time ago. <laughs> yes, but 20 years ago this fall, you and I started first grade together. We've been friends for 20 years. You're making me feel old, Em. Here. It'll look much better without this stunning hospital bracelet. Off soon. Wonderful. Even the police know that. Plus, I'm still here. I'm alive. Trust me, there's a reason for that. Oh my god. And I know what I'm getting you for Christmas already. Hints, it jingles. So, Will must miss being Mr. Successful in San Francisco. He's working on a new project. Something different. Tech's only a part of it. And he's sitting on a bunch of boards. Wow. Who would have thought that he would be a tech genius? Some nerds have all the luck. He's really not a nerd. Yeah, he is. Oh, here. The rest of your presents. Ooh. Lady in pain. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shouldn't be texting and walking well. It's a funny joke coming from here. I wasn't on my phone, okay? I was not distracted, and I definitely was not drinking. Sure. I know that you blame me for the accident, and I'm sure you'd rather I not be here right now. And yes, you're right, I was not here in the aftermath, but I am now, and I want to do everything I can to help my best friend. Well, Trace, you can make all decisions about that, but for me, it's just a little too late. We're as close as sisters, Will, you know that. You're right. And I do respect how close you two are. I should not have lost my temper. I understand why you did, though. If Tracy and I hadn't come back for the jamboree, and I hadn't been driving us home on Route 8, then she would still be living her normal life. You abandoned her, and you walked away without a scratch. I didn't, though. It's not the same, but... <sighs> no, I don't have time for this right now, okay? Let's get cold. Can we talk later? Mm-hmm.
That was delicious. Funny how it's the little things that frustrate me the most. Like not being able to get your own burger. Oh, well, I'll keep sneaking stuff past the nurse as long as you need. Emma's bringing contraband barbecue tomorrow. Mm. Why the scowl? You want to know some brand No. You know exactly why. I just don't understand that you can welcome her back with open arms. You keep thinking I'm the only one who got hurt in the accident. I know why she didn't come back. She was she was blaming herself and she didn't want to face me. And it's tearing her up inside. I'm happy she's back. I think it means we can finally heal mutually. And I'm hoping my older brother can understand that and be a part of it too. Be nice to her. For my sake. You know what else would help? Mm. Get me out of here. Get me home. Yeah, well, maybe just not yet. I mean, your doctor said you'd be better here for a while, right? I just want to sleep in my own bed and take an actual shower. Well, look, I'm just concerned about what might happen to you at home. What if something happens I'm not there? Home care is partially covered by insurance. Plus, I'm going to be here every single day doing physio. Okay. So, how's the project? Yeah, it's going pretty good. Is that all again? Lynn and I were putting together a little proposal to reopen the old winery. Plus, a little tourism map for Harmony Valley. Are you serious? That's the best news of the decade! Emma and I used to love working there for Sierra Paula. I know you love it. That's one reason we want to do it. And it'll give Harmony Valley a little boost, too. So, what do you have to do next? Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta get the town council's approval. And to do that, gotta get it on the docket. And gotta get buy-in from the one person who holds sway over it all. Which is... Rose. Don't you think if you want something from Emma's grandma, the first logical step would be be nicer to Emma? Maybe, yeah. But this proposal, it just makes good business sense. Like, if the winery is open again, it'd provide new jobs, uh, bring in more tourists, give the town enough money to face some sorely untouched utilities. Okay, well, let's say I'm Rose. How does being a software developer make you a winery expert? It's more that it's made me a financier. I know a good investment when I see it. This town needs a good investment strategy. Jobs are sorely needed. I mean, Flynn and I, we've been working on the winery. Turns out I'm actually pretty good at it. And when you're better, you're going to need a job. Let's not kid ourselves. I'm getting the best job. When you're better. Which we both know is soon. Actually, yeah. I think you will be soon. <laughs> hey, Van! Oh! How did it go? It couldn't have gone better. Oh, we were the friends we always were. It was so nice to see her. I'm gonna go back tomorrow. Well, this calls for a celebratory dance. Come on! Hey. I hate that this accident has stolen all your sparkle. I really wish that I could just snap my fingers and be over it. It's like Tracy. I love how she just lives in the moment. But Will, I don't think Will can get past it either. I oh, see. I think you're worried about him. Yeah, he's behaving badly. You still care for him. Yeah, I guess we will. Tracy's sake, right? It was nice to see you, Will. Excuse me. See ya. You know, Will, life's too short to hold on to bad feelings. You three were such good friends growing up. When you get to be my age, you're going to want lifelong friends who stick together and have each other's back. Rose, I was actually just hoping to talk to you about my Harmony Valley Vineyards project. I hear you're convening the council next week, and I was hoping you could put it on the docket. I have a little information here just to help you understand our intentions on it. You hear that? Touches my heart. <laughs> I'm just trying to help this town see that progress is like a night out with friends. You know, everyone comes home happy. So a little background information for you. I might be more open to your project if you and Emma were on better terms. I need to see that you mean well. They care about people. Okay. I completely understand that. You know what? I will talk with Emma. And I just respectfully ask you to consider putting that on the docket. So can you do that for me? I'll see you at the meeting. Thanks, Rose. Appreciate that. Thank you. It's a bit early for actual votes, but to say we can give our presentation at the next meeting. So, <sighs> Emma was there. 
Really? Yeah. How did that go? This is about as awkward and uncomfortable as I've ever been, I think. Hey, look, man, don't get mad when I say this. But maybe it's time to let that night go. Wow. Thanks for sci-fi tracing. Now, I just keep seeing Emma driving, getting distracted, texting, just blaring the radio off in dreamland. Something stupid and careless, and then my mind just drifts to Tracy in intense care with like all these tubes sticking out everywhere. It doesn't make any difference. So forgive her. She's not a monster. Yeah. You know what? If she hadn't gone away for months, if she even bothered to call, maybe it'd be easier for her. You know her. She must have had a good reason. There is no good reason for that. Will! Alright. Tracy forgave Emma. I know I have to try to do this. I know. I know. Yeah, hey, regardless, uh, as part of her consideration for our project, Rose and I have to get along better with Emma. Yeah, so I reached out. Emma's going to bring Tracy over to the day pass. It'll help relieve Tracy's hospital boredom. So. Good start. Yeah. I know it's not final or anything, mm -hmm. but if all goes well in the meeting, Seems appropriately optimistic to hang out our shingle. Yeah? Got anything ready to make the sign? Welcome to Harmony Valley. That's what you're thinking, right? Exactly. Well, it's just too bad that the venue doesn't start till the end of the second road. Nice try. No. Seriously. You're in the wrong place. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Um. See, hey, it's confusing out here. We need a sign. She's doing really great, huh? Yeah. She's better every day. Yeah. Thank you for letting me bring her out here. Yeah, it's just nice to see you excited about something again. Tracy's the reason that you want to reopen the winery, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, she used to love working with her dad when he was a manager. Yeah, she'd talk my ear off about what this place would be. Yeah, I just hope it helps get her back on her feet. Hey! What do you think? It's beautiful. I love being out here again. For us reopening the winery, we're gonna make it a place to celebrate. But it's here, and the party's there. And I am going to plan every single one of them. My events in the city were legendary. They really were. She did this one party where there was a rooftop pool. It was incredible. So your hospitality degree, it's just a degree in fun, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, then this town needs you. Yeah. Emma, you can design the interiors. You dream big Well, Tracy. If I'm being honest, I want you to stay for Tracy and for me. Even I get lonely sometimes, you know. But do you want to stay for you? Doesn't really matter. I can work from anywhere. I just need my computer and a phone so I can talk with my clients. Yeah, the winery would be so good for Tracy. I could be a part of that. I really love the energy of the city, I do, but uh, I don't know, I'm confused. Sweetheart, you have to mend your past before you can move toward your future. Are you saying that I should be honest with Tracy? And with Will. Tell them both why you were away. Tell them what happened. Now, Will has loosened up a little with me. He lost a bit of that steel in his eyes. He even asked for my help with some designs. Well, that's encouraging. But I'm afraid I have some uh, real concerns. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I, I don't believe in this project. And I can't support it at council. Good night, Graham. Good night, Em. Just going out for a bike ride, Grant. I won't be long. Right, breakdown? Yep. Seems to be the problem.
problem. Oh. Oh, no, 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 don't mind. I got this. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oops. Nope. You're a good assistant. Check the gears. Nice. Got a nice flower. Right. I am. Um, there are some of there. Picking them. Remember Tracy and I? We used to love picking wildflowers. We love them even more than the prize-winning roses in your mom's garden. We make all those crowns and take the dandelion seeds and blow them out into the field, and make hundreds of roses. <laughs> we were going to be princesses when we grew up. There were like hundreds of crowns <laughs> in the bedroom. Huh. Tracy used to say that I was the frog. Well, how do you know that I actually like frogs and toads? They're very important to the ecosystem. Are they? Mm -hmm. mm. Hey, I was uh, going to go check out the Baxter County Winery this afternoon if you want to join me. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I would like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a date. Sorry, I did. No, I, I, yeah, I didn't take it that way. I'll maybe give me an hour and I'll change. Well, I'll start with your presentation. Leo, yes, sir. I got a robot package put together for you. Hi, Emma. I heard you were home. You running your design firm from here? Yeah, virtual office. Well, I hope you'll stick around and lend your skills to the winery. I definitely believe in the project. I'll be there tomorrow to fight for what's right. I hope we can all agree on what that is. I'll see you all tomorrow. All right. Sounds like I might need to prepare a few more counterpoints to kick back on my proposal. Yeah. yeah, I might need to take a rain check on that little winery thing this afternoon. I gotta get prepared. Of course. Yeah, I, I get it. Good luck. Yeah. Hey, thanks for, uh, thanks for help. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you. Yeah. This is Will and Flynn. They're allotted to 30 minutes. So, no, the floor is yours. Thanks, Mary Lou. Oh, feels great to be back. Now, just like most of you, Flynn and I, we were born and raised here in Harmony Valley. And we just love this town so much. And it feels like, you know, just the other day I was a little boy swimming down at Eagle Lake. I just love those days. My teenage years going down to the drive. I know a lot of you have done that. Well, right after college, Flynn and I, we had to go out to Silicon Valley to finish developing our app. Well, our hearts were always here, though. And we were lucky enough to find success. Well, we want to give back to the place we love. You know, just hopefully one day, I'll be lucky enough to raise my kids here. I don't know about Flynn. <laughs> so essentially, what we're proposing here today is that we open this beautiful place of ours up to hundreds of visitors. Now, 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 just hold on, hold on. Now, let me explain. When you create employment and stability, that's how you keep the bright young minds at home and move us into the future. So I present to you the revitalization of the new Harmony Valley Vineyards. The expanded vineyard will bring in tourism and plenty of revenue for small business owners like all of you. It will create about 100 year-round jobs and with the mill about to shut down, Harmony Valley needs new employment. So in phase one, together with our developers, we'll break ground on the new buildings here at the end of the month. That, that's the easy part. Men and women alike, they'll love our water spot. And couples, they're going to scramble to book our gorgeous wedding venue. Families, well, they're going to walk from all around to get to our water park. And in phase two, we will update the aging technology infrastructure. And in phase three, we will revitalize old Main Street with a much-needed facelift that maintains the small-town charm that we all know and love. And we have detailed handouts here for anyone who would like. Well, who doesn't want new jobs? A stronger cell phone signal? All right, new shops and amenities, anyone? Gentlemen, your plan is exciting. Thanks, Rose. But can it be sustained over the long run? 
what, what kind of family brings their children to a vineyard when they can go to the theme park across the state line? What if couples would rather get married in the rooftop garden of some skyscraper in the city? You know, if your romantic vision doesn't work, you can go home to your tech jobs and you'll leave the town here to pick up the pieces. And... Well, Rose, is something wrong? Where's the old band shell? Uh, what band shell? The band shell that's been in the center of town since we were founded. <laughs> uh, in this rendition, uh, we thought a parking lot would be a great centerpiece for all the new amenities, wonderful amenities we haven't mentioned yet. We're gonna get to it right now. That old band shell was where my husband proposed to me. And you want to destroy it and put in a parking lot? That band shell has stood the test of time. I think I know how I'm voting. Oh no. Well, Rose, these are just initial designs. Everything here is still open for suggestion. Where's the skating rink? Well, that would need to be relocated. It's only used for a few months of the year, and it's a prime spot that we think would be better used for the town spot. I skate there all winter long, every morning before I open the restaurant. One, this plan is disrespectful to our public spaces. Two, this winery will be a millstone around our necks if it doesn't work out. And I've already lived through that once already. Thank you very much. And three, this revitalization is as quickly as possible. Listen, if I clutch my heart with my right hand, I'm taking a heart attack to end this. If I clutch with my left, call an ambulance. It's not happening. Thank you all for coming. Please take your seats and we'll get started. Judging by the size of today's crowd, I see that there's a good deal of interest in our new business agenda. So, Will Jackson and Flynn Rutherford, please proceed with your bid for approval to reopen Harmony Valley Vineyards and revitalize our town. Mayor Leo, I think we just need the broad strokes here. There's no point spending a lot of time on this. Councilor Rose, the floor recognized. Opposed. Nays out. Denied. Thank you, everyone. Rose. Rose, 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 you shut us down and you didn't even let us finish. Council decided that what you proposed wasn't worth further consideration. Well, you didn't even see the new daycare for the kids. There was a whole upgrade on the public pool that shut down. I mean, a whole new wing on the retirement home. This town is 50% baby boomers and older. And what, the retirement facility can house a quarter of you? Then you should have started with that instead of showing our memories being demolished. Rose, they are just initial okay. design. What if Will redid his plan? took into consideration some of the things that this town loves. Then him and Flynn could repitch again in a couple of weeks. All right. Thank you. Both of you. And Rose, I promise I will keep the history. Oh, you and Flynn don't even know what that means. I apologize. I will. I'm with you. <sighs> hey, Emma. You want to get this whole thing approved, right? Well, of course. I think it would be really great for Tracy and the town. Right. Yeah, why don't you help me with the revised proposal? I mean, you know Rose and Tanya and the rest of them. I just need someone to help me get an idea about what everybody wants. Well, I know nothing about town planning. Well, you don't need to. You know the town, you know the people, you know design. Yeah. Okay. For Tracy. For Tracy. <laughs> What are you two conspiring about? Uh, Emma's gonna consult on a new proposal. Well, that's just about the smartest thing I've heard all day. So what do you think next? Uh, we could do that recon on the other wineries that you're talking about. Oh, right, but we can't let the competition know who we are, though, so we're gonna need some disguises. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, do you have a secret time of what? Tomorrow at noon, lunch at the house first. Okay. Okay. It's not so secret. <laughs> I'll see you there. See ya. Hey, guys. Really nice job on your presentation. This guy. Hey, 
Hey. You look nice. It's a business meeting, right? Of course. Just a business meeting. I'm Brad Pie. Oh, wow. You want to come on in? What? I got a day pass because I'm coming home. That's amazing news. No more hospital food. Awesome. Isn't that great news? I won't bother you two. I'll be out on the barbecue. If you need me, holler. Is my brother being nice to you? Um, just like when you were young, but you know what? I always thought he had feelings for you. If that were the case, it's definitely over now. Miss Rose? Nice to see you again. Long time. Grant, you remember well. Been a long time, young man. How's Tracy doing? Ah, oh, she's doing great. Better day by day. Good, good. And uh, are you here to apologize to my granddaughter for blaming her? I know it's difficult sometimes, but an accident is just an accident. Well, my grand's always been known for speaking her mind. And although I doubt that's what Will is here for, I think him and I will work it out between us. He is. So you'll help him get this passed? Hey, if you want to work at the winery, I will do everything I can to help it get approved. You know you're going to have to ask every council member one by one, right? Yes. Yes, the personal touch. I think we'll start with Felix, because he's kind of a wild card if we can get him on side. <sighs> I can't wait to be home. I just want to put everything behind me and start fresh. Tracy, you know that every morning when I wake up, I wish it had been me and not you. I know it. It wasn't your fault, Emma. If I could do anything, I would make you understand that. Dinner's ready. Talk to me. Are you okay? You're I'm sorry. We don't have to talk about the accident. want my help. <laughs> Why are you doing an incredible job? You're looking to adopt a goat? Or a rabbit, maybe. They make great pets. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just looking to lend a hand. Yeah. Seems that everybody has a little help in hand in today. Hey, you got a little early bird. I will. Everyone's been a great help today. <laughs> oh, that's great. You want to let me take the lead? You want to handle things with you? Yeah, of course. I'm not just saying cuddling the bunnies. Oh, yeah. Hey, you were a rabbit first. Yeah, I was and still so am. Okay, why well, don't you let little bunny cuddles and I'm gonna go in. So. Thanks. Hey, oh, Felix. Uh, I was wondering, what do you think it would take to get your vote on our new plan? Sorry, Will. No can do. I won't set foot in there anymore. Really? You still gotta vote in the council, though. I mean, you gotta see if your vote matters. That is just a courtesy given to an outgoing there. Not one I'm gonna take advantage of. Hey, look, I feel like if you just took a, well, a quick Will, little look at. It's not gonna happen. In terms of mayor, I was happy to leave. It would have been really nice to get that pass, though, huh? Yeah, it would have. It's my only regret. If I could have gotten that done for the kids, then I guess it would have all been worthwhile. Well, that's actually, that's a pretty great coincidence. I mean, part of our new development plan, it includes a whole new upgrade of the park, a whole new development, you know, a whole new playground for the kids. Yeah, 
Yeah, we were thinking of asking the kids in the community to help out with the design. Really? Well, did you go to the schools? Because they could run some sort of competition. Absolutely. You know what? In fact, with your vote next week, I will. Emma and I, we'd really love to sit down with you, hear all the things you want to include in the park. I mean, we could even name it after you, right? Yeah. Come on. Wouldn't it feel good to get that one last item checked off your list? Okay, it definitely would. Yeah. And Felix Rolfsburg Park has a very nice rate to it. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what. You get the park on there? You got my vote. Hey, fantastic. Thank you. you definitely will. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys brought some gloves. You gotta clip the bunny's nails next. <laughs> Never done that before. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you guys all find this funny. They're just bunnies, well. How much damage could they do? It's it's emotional. Oh, these guys. <laughs> well, tomorrow I'll go sit in front of a computer all day, and you can go and try to cuddle these little guys, and you can see. No, I'm good. But did you get his vote? No, oh, didn't. But uh, well, Emma, she got it. It really wasn't that hard. I knew you both wanted the same thing, so I just had to show him. Oh, uh, what about Tanya? She loved it. I mean, she loved the design of the skate park, really. She loved it. Emphasis on loved and emphasis on it was my idea. Sure. <laughs> like, I love the way that the skating path lines to the park in the winter. And it becomes a children's bike and stroller path in the summer. It's I mean, it's the best thing to happen to that park. So. What can I say? I was struck with inspiration. Well, I'm expecting the revised movement for the bike path tomorrow, so. Guess you two are quite the team. Well, it's not over yet. We still need Dr. Bessie and Pete. I figure the more counselors we can get on board, then we'll have their committees set for permits. I'm seeing Dr. Bessie in the next couple of days. He promised he's going to hear me out. What about your grand? Unfortunately, I don't think she's going to budge. She just doesn't believe in the wine business, even though we all know it's viable. And she definitely doesn't care about upgrades in our tech, even though the rest of us would kill for better cell reception. No, I will work on her, I promise. Hey, I need to sit by the fire with me. Yes. I just... Trying to chase you up. I knew that. So awkward. I knew that. I, I was going to ask him to do the same. <clears throat> That's why. Any further thoughts? Hmm, they're not worth that much. <laughs> I've had a really nice few days. With Will? <laughs> Red cheeks, dead giveaway. It's not fair, the fire's hot. <laughs> Yes, with Will. It's been... It's been really cathartic for me. It's good, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, for the first time in a while, I can really feel myself being happy again. I'm gonna need to get counsel to help us get this place up and running. Well, I can put together some thoughts for special events for your meeting. And Emma, you can do a mood board. Like fabric swatches, tiles, colors. I would love to, if, if that's okay with Will. Yeah. No objections here. You might as well do the logo while you're at it. Like how you did in those uh, in the coffee shops, that shopping mall you did over the Western. You saw that. I actually like your designs. Tracy's always showing me her work. Well, I'm sorry, I'm probably humoring her when you see it. No, I actually like seeing what you're up to. Okay, who wants to see some grapes? Me! This I'm not interrupting. Well, I'm just trying to... <laughs> oh. Well, now, I know designing has changed a little since my time, but don't they usually have a lot more samples going on? I'm a little muddled these days. What do you think? Retro, but chic? Well, the right retro is always chic. <laughs> I came back here for just a visit. But do you think I should stay? Impressified. I am. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Everyone all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still breathing. <laughs> We were just admiring your selection here. Ah, never too early to make the big choices. Yes, indeed. Uh, so, Pete, uh, the reason that we're here today... You want my vote for your big vineyard proposal? We do, yes. And we've been pretty hard at work on this, so if you want to take a look... We have designed a new skate path, so it goes all the way around the park. That way, more families can enjoy it. And the skate rental shop is right here. With blade sharpening? Yeah, of course. Very nice. You've done a really lovely job, especially around the old band show. Oh, I couldn't agree more, but that's not just our idea. I mean, 
am I here? She recommended that maybe I ask the people what they want. <laughs> so, Pete, floor is yours. What do you think? This here. Mm -hmm. Those are the offices for the vineyard. So that's where all the, the corporate meetings, behind yeah. the scenes things would happen. Could you let me put some subtle marketing there? What are you thinking? Oh, you know, uh, clouds, flowers, inspirational sayings. How about an art exhibit that the funeral home could sponsor? Yes. Inspirational works by local artists, maybe. Yeah. I'm on the Arts Council over at Harrisburg, and I curate the art show at Fall Festival. There's so much talent that needs a place to be seen. Sounds like a good idea to me. It's positive and it supports the community. I think it'd be really nice for everyone. You have my vote. Really? <laughs> okay. Pete, thanks. That's great. I appreciate that. But well, just I got a little something to give to you here. Just a little brochure, okay? <laughs> Forgive me if I'm being too personal, but you two make a really cute couple. Oh, oh uh, this is <laughs> just business. Oh. My mistake. I mean, he's just like my granny. He must have seen our vision. Oh, I meant what he said at the end about us. Oh, yeah. We were just sharing the project with him. I don't know what made him think we were a couple. <laughs> As if we were to be together. Yeah. So Pete was the last one. Felix, Susan, Tony, we got four votes. Flynn said Dr. Bass is still on the fence, but he's willing to listen at the time meeting next week. So that just leaves Rose. Yeah. Yeah. So, if everyone votes according to the promises, that's 4 to 2, the numbers are on our side. Hmm. You okay? Yeah, I guess this is it, right? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I held up my end of the bargain, right? I helped you get the votes, so... Hmm. I'll see you at the meeting. Okay. You want to grab a drink and celebrate? Let's wait until after we get those votes, okay? Oh, I can smell those from here. <laughs> I thought these could do with some refreshing. Working on your client's project again. Yeah, I'm just trying to find any moment between working with Will on the plans. Interesting way of putting it. Working on the plans. You know, it's funny. My gran always says if you want to say something, you should just say it. I'm just saying. I hope you're still working on this project. The town's best interest in mind. Absolutely. That's what I've done this entire time. I'm doing this for Tracy. There's, there's literally nothing in it for me. Well then, I've spoken out of turn. I apologize. Have a flower. Thanks. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I've overstepped, haven't I? Unfortunately, I'm very good at that. Listen to your heart, Em. Don't grow old and cynical like me. Grand's orders. I, I can't. That's my girl. they not going to be the cutest thing in fall festivals? They're perfect. <laughs> what I'm handing out here is the music that we're going to be playing at the fall festival. And it's called Country Fair Parade. And we'll just leave it there for now. Oh. No, I'm just thinking about something that your brother said. Hmm. It's not that really. <sighs> Fine. You know Pete, the funeral home guy? Yeah. Well, he thought Will and I were a couple. And then... Later on, Will said, as if we'd ever be together. And I know he was just reacting to what Pete had said. And before you go there, I don't know why it bothers me. Because it's Will. Exactly, it's Will. Oh, oh and babies. You're We're trying to rehearse a concert here. Sorry, Gran. Hey, everyone. Oh, shit. Oh, dude. Yes, dear. We can't play without Susan. 
There's no one to keep tempo. Well, I'm sorry, dear, but Susan wasn't able to make it in to play the snare drum today. and I'm all thumbs, so we're just going to have to do the best we can. I can help. What do we play? The Country Fair Parade. My lucky day. We used to play this when I was in the band. Right then. Two, three, four. <laughs> Ben, are you are you good? Yeah, no, I'm good. I was just looking for Emma. I messaged her a bunch of times, but she's not replying. So she should be here. Mm. It's always my pleasure, Rose. I just really want that playground, and I can I can almost taste victory. It's good to know, Felix. Welcome. Well, Jackson, Flint Rutherford, the floor is yours. And Emma Willoughby. Uh, Emma's been a big help in this as well. I just want to make sure that was Fantastic. Let's start with Lynn and Will and Emma's revamped proposal. Oh, it's nice to see everyone's back again. Felix, nice to see you. Before we get started, I just wanted to say, last time that we were here, we messed up. I was arrogant. I was cocky. And I forgot what makes this town so great. It's our memories. And our wholesomeness. I mean, when I hear people driving down our main street, I've heard it a thousand times before. They wish that they lived here. But thankfully, I was reminded of that. So without any further delay, I'd like to present to you the new Blended with the best traditions, Harmony Valley Vineyards. We listen to everyone. And we're confident that we understand what you love about this town. Including bike trails, a big playground, and nice pets. And our beloved man shell. Harmony Valley Vineyards will not only bring in new year-round jobs, the new tours, the new amenities, it'll also become a destination. And it'll give this town new memories that stand in partnership with the old. So as you've told us, that is the most important thing of all. This is all well and good. But what happens ten years from now? Well, I'm not sure I understand. You create this fancy destination here. And when things don't go well, you leave the town dealing with empty buildings and unpaid bills. And if it does go well, what then? Um, I guess we all enjoy the success. <laughs> Young man. Success is the father of greed. When things go well, people want more. New plans, more disruptions. I exactly, but we'll have control of those decisions. Your outside investors, how much are they buying in for? Uh, 34%. They are making a substantial investment. Okay, 34%, which means you two have 33% each. Yes, it does. Then neither of you are the majority stockholder. What happens when one or both of you sell your shares? When, when your original investor wants to expand, he'll be in charge, not you. Right. Rose, we plan to vote together in Harmony Valley's best interests. But we have no intention to sell. We're here for the long term. But you could. Will and Flynn are committed to this project. They're not going to do something that would jeopardize Harmony Valley. Well, not on purpose. But we all know they could. I'm sorry, I, I think we've heard enough to vote. Yes? All those in favor? Opposed. Harmony Valley Vineyards will not be approved for development at this time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your efforts. I'd also like to wish everyone 
a fantastic fall festival. It's okay. It's just a minor setback. But you can go to your development, ask for more time, and we can pitch again in a month. It's over. Our deal was split around by the end of this week. And if we don't, our partner will not We lose everything. I am so sorry. Yeah, me too. Is there anything we can do? Will, come on, I know it's a setback, but there's still time. We'll try again next year. I'm done fighting, Tracy. I'm moving back to San Francisco. What? Why? Why, because this town doesn't need me. I tried everything possible to please everyone and it didn't work. But I don't want you to go. Tracy, without the vineyard, I have to go back to work. There's nothing else here for me, okay? Wow. Emma, that is not what I meant. It's fine. What about me? Do you want to go back to see each other once a year like we used to, just for Christmas? I need you here. Well, then come back to San Francisco with me. I, I live here now. Tracy, can, can we just talk about this later? I, I just can't think straight right now, you guys. Tracy, come I'm on. walking home. It's okay. We'll, we'll make sure she gets home. You're coming home late. I spent the day with Tracy. And you're so mad we aren't even going to talk about it? Okay. Tracy's furious. One, she doesn't want to move away from work. Two, she doesn't want to live hundreds of miles away from her brother. And three, if Will's gone, that means she has to stay in the hospital longer because she's not going to be well enough to live on her own for a while. Well, perhaps I should have given more thought to how this would affect her. Do you think? Man, I try to understand you. I do. But I really wish you would trust me even a little bit. I did address your concerns on the project. I made sure the plans benefited everyone. It was good for the town. It was good for Tracy. You promised to be fair, and you still didn't hear them out. I see. So Tracy and I are the only reason you were helping. Come on, enough hinting. Yes, I like Will. He is a good man with good ideas. And believe it or not, he just wanted to help. Nonsense, I don't believe that. You always tell me to leave the past behind, and yet you let your one bitter memory of Grandpa consume you? Have you forgotten about all of the good memories at his vineyards? You met at the winery's fall festival. You were so proud of the wine he created for your wedding. You do know that half the families in this town own homes because of the jobs he created. Grandpa had 50 years of great success, and all you remember is the last few years when, when bad weather made the harvest fail. I'm sorry. I let the whole town down. I do know Will is a good man. I like his heart, his spirit. I'll apologize to Will. It's too late. Will's done fighting where he's not wanted. He said there's nothing left for him here. I just didn't want everyone to suffer again. We are already suffering. The mill is closing. We need new development. And I wish you'd stop being afraid to drive. Emma? Emma, sweetheart, breathe. In, two, three, four, out, two. All right, where's my phone? Breathe. I can't get the signal. Emma, I'm not with you here. I'm with you. Relax. Relax. Help. Help. Oh, it's just pathetic. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever? Let me guess. You want to give up on the winery so you can have more time to feel miserable. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Quitting and moving away from everything you care about is not a plan. Sure. Sure. I've got a thing for Emma your entire life. And instead of fighting for her, here you are. Moping. Your kitchen counter. So? What? So tell me how you plan to win Emma back! I messed up. Yeah, you did. 
plus hitting to long climb. I've done everything I can do. I'm sure they can handle it. Here's to hoping they get you a nice cushy job and give this town a little boost. <laughs> okay, everyone. Thank you for coming. If you can make your way to your seats, we'd like to get things started. Sure. No, I don't like that Susan's whispering in rooms. Like trouble not, nothing good's gonna come of that. All numbers aren't looking good either. Well now, Felix, this is twice this week you've surprised me. Good to know you not only have musical talent, but an interest in your civic duty. It's been a couple hours. I hate seeing you here. You know, the upside is they make a mean bread pudding on Tuesdays. <laughs> it's actually really good. Can't wait. Talk to me about the panic attack, Sam. You know, I wish... I wish there was a better word for sorry. But I am, Tracy. I'm so sorry. I wish that... That night I had done something to avoid it, but... I just... And then after the accident, I... I had to go back to the city for treatment. The nightmares took over. Even during the day. It was so real. Like it wouldn't stop happening to me. I could just see the truck coming at us. The smell of the brakes. The tires, the impact. Like it just kept happening again and again. I really, I really wanted to be here for you. But I knew if I left the city, it would just get worse. Mm -hmm. It's better now. It's, it's manageable. They still wake me up every morning. I guess not as many during the day, but most nights. I love you, Mama. We're gonna be okay. You know, sometimes an accident is just an accident. You know, I lost my grace in the crash. I felt like I lost a part of you, too. No, but I'm right here. I'm right here. This is just a symbol. If anything, it's a reason for us to go shopping for anyone. <laughs> I love you so much, Tracy. Yeah. yeah, I'm better. They let me go to the hospital shortly after you left. Oh, good. Well, I know it's not the same, but I used to get panic attacks too when we were releasing that app. They suck. Yeah, they do. I got a lot of stuff to do today. I should probably let you go. Yeah, well, I gotta get running through. Okay. I'll see ya. Why couldn't you see us together? What do you mean? When Pete thought we made a cute couple, you said as if we'd be together. Well, I don't remember saying that exactly. But if I did, I guess I don't know. I thought maybe you hated me, that you thought I was stuck up or something. No. I have never hated you. In fact, I actually thought that there was something between us this last little while. I thought that maybe I could finally forgive myself and that you were ready to forgive me too. And then you said that and and I don't know, I guess I guess it was in my head. No, 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 ma'am. There was nothing to forgive. Look, I, I realize that now. When Tracy was hurt, I was so angry. And when I got here and you were gone, I blamed the whole thing on you. But if I'm being honest with myself, I realized that I needed you with me. I've been on this road for a week now. 
hoping you'd bite past. Yeah. Um, I... Not easy for me to say this, but... I love you. I've been in love with you since we were kids. I love you too, well. I'm just gonna say Yeah. Hi, Harmony Valley. I'm Will Jackson. Um, I see a few counselors out there. Mayor Leah. Counselor Rose? I was hoping that you guys would reconsider our proposal and put us on your docket again. Because we need a strong safety system. And a key part of that is reliable cell phone signals. Because so whenever Will will be I can also do some more information on that splash pool. <laughs> Council meeting. He here needed help. Her grandmother Rose couldn't get a connection to get an ambulance. Now, when any of us has an emergency, the seconds count. And we have the technology available to fix this problem. And we need to come together and do that. That's all. Thank you. I second that. Our infrastructure needs upgrading. Will, talk to us about tech for safety. Thursday, 6 o'clock. Let's get this winery up. <laughs> both for keeping this old band shell in the plants. I think of your grandfather every time I walk by. And you said a winery was a romantic notion. You, Rose, are the romantic... Rose, if the council does allow us to go ahead with this, Flynn and I were talking, and we've agreed to give Tracy 51% of the project. So Tracy, I'll control it. And we all know that you trust her. I do. Oh, and I'm sure Emma approves. <laughs> Oh, I love you, sweetheart. Okay, Rose, I need something deep fried. Share something delicious with me. Aw, you okay there, Tracy? I've got arm wrestling in 15 minutes. I'm up against Earl Ivy. Come on! Yeah, yeah. do not. <laughs> you remember that year that Tracy was sick? Couldn't make that to the festival. Oh, <laughs> yeah. My grand wouldn't let me go by myself. We were 12, and so I asked you to come with me. That's right. We ate so many of those little mini donuts. Oh. Hot out of the fryer with that cinnamon <laughs> sugar. That was the best day of my life. You know, in my heart, I just always loved you that. It took a while to know it in my head. I got you something. Good job, Grace. Yeah. Yeah. Shooting star, that's from Tracy. She says it's for good things. Yeah, Mike. Take it back like old school I'm telling you I must be for me Cause you got me doing things I never do Yeah When you take me out on a Friday It's just you be cruising down the highway I'm feeling it's so sweet When you 